Okay, we got 30 seconds left. We're gonna be chilling for a minute and then we're good to go. But yeah, I, I'm just hoping they have some cool stuff at this. Like, state of plays for the most part have been like pretty good, you know? Like they usually have one or two cool announcements, right? So I'm hoping this one does. I, I know a lot of people want FF7 remake stuff and I, you know, I, I hope they get what they want. Oh, we're going dark. Let me know about the audio, by the way. Did, did it make it? Oh, there we go. There's some very unexpected oh. developments in your future. Wait a minute. Shocking events that will change the course of your life. Is this? <laughs> that last part might have been a hair dramatic. But what? there's lots of awesome updates and additions. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience on PlayStation 5. Yo. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer at Toys for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown of Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. That includes 4K at 60 frames per second, adaptive triggers, 3D audio, and more. Yo. Let's make this fun. Picking up where Crash Bandicoot Warp left off, in Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, we find the evil masterminds Neocortex and Dr. Entropy escaping a once-thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with bold, vibrant environments and characters. Crash Bandicoot has always looked pretty suave, but wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 frames per second. Yo, that's pretty nice. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, and probably some errands to run, there's little time to wait on loading screens. The DualSense wireless controllers bring adaptive uh. triggers to your fingertips, so you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA-changing ray gun, or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of hookshot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of Crash's jet board, and really feel the suck when you vacuum his dingo dot. The suck? Feel the suck? Immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all-new dimension. I don't, I don't want. I don't want to feel those suckers. Achieving the infamous 106% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, flashback levels, and boss fights. See the I bet Entropy wishes he had that. The, the activity card bring thing is cool, but like... Save over from the PlayStation 4 oh, that's the cool! Cards to get to 106%. Oh, oh, and one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full details. Yo, Whether that's it's tight. your first playthrough or your hundredth, there's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time on PlayStation 5. See, this is cool, but, uh, what was I going to say? I totally forgot. Welcome back, Crash. Whatever. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got some great updates lined up for you. First, let's check out the uh, latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this spring. Are you sure about eagerly? Studios. I don't know about eagerly hey everyone, anticipated. We at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. In Returnal, you will play as Selene, an Astra Scout, who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players will explore this inscrutable, dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. Dashing and quickly maneuvering your way above and around enemies is key to survival in return. Oh. These narrators scream direct. I mean... The direct format is really good, so I I, I hope more I, Xbox kind of has their own thing, but like number of unique move sets each possess, it's not the same. Combat situations prove now, challenging no matter what the circumstances. Now this would be a tight game Death if I didn't have game. to pay full price for it or or Sony full price for it. Cuz it's one of these games where apparently it's going to be short, but like start, you play a lot cuz you die and the come map back. Will be different. 
enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers, so you have to think fast and adapt. Oh, you don't like it. Just show me the trailer. Which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. Yeah, I can understand that, but when it's something like this, like it's a breakdown, I do I do like the narrator. Just to have one. Like, it, like you here's what you're seeing. Mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle <laughs> and make each cycle feel unique. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. I will say, this is the... Is that just... Is that Monster that House? Here. Is that a regular uh, house in the background? Memories in that house that... Not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem... Manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. <sighs> There's no comfort here. No safe space. Interesting. <sighs> oh my god, it's PT! <laughs> exactly as I left it. Returnal looks cool. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'd pay full price for it, but like, if I get a PS5, I might try it, you know? Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. Oh, Next, no. let's take a closer look at a high-impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. You like Fortnite, and you like dodgeball, but don't enjoy... Hi. I'm Any Josh of the charm that those have? We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. Knockout oh, City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off, oh, yeah, a constantly Great. shrinking battleground relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Yo, the gameplay here looks looks kind of clean. Shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last-second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Yo, this is Let's jump tight? into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream The new Splatoon? Team. I don't know about if that. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. Uh, I don't know if I'd call We're myself indie if I had wrong. EA back in you'll me. Find in our oh, that, that's beta. the thing. EA, the obviously EA, very big company. But uh, the map and uh, they do have like a branch that specifically just funds Beyond indie games. That's where we got, what is that, Unravel and... Getaway or use them to sneak up on your that fuck the Oscars guy, he he had the prison handed. game with the two you brothers, right? The ball like those are all indie games. Teammate. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help. Oh, Ninjala vibes. Oh, Rally yeah, that's kind of, you know what? That's kind of true. It, it looks fun, but like, See you soon, I, ballers. if it's like free to play, maybe I'll try it, you know? Oh, crossplay beta? Hang on. All right, I might have to stream it just to try it, you know? If it's free and it's crossplay. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team at Slow Clap. Slow Clap? What's... Who... Who are Slow Clap? It's kind of stylish looking. Yo, okay.
Oh, oh shit, oh shit. God. Oh my god, you threw the pipe at their face! Wait, what the fuck? Why are you like older now? Like, this is cool as shit. I'm like, I just, I wonder what's, what the hell's going on here, you know? I'm assuming it's like some time travel shit. Sifu? I, I mean, alright, it looks, looks. That was the debut of Sifu, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. The new Streets of Rage looks sick. You got Streets of Rage 5? Have we... Wait, we've seen this game before, right? Solar Ash? The name sounds familiar. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, oh, Hyperlight. show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Yo, Hyperlight Drifter was tight. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the Ashen yeah, Clouds, this game's gorgeous. she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. Yo, these goo, these goo noises At though? At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. Yeah, he plays a lady. Let's go, yeah. As you journey to save your planet, you uh, find you, yourself you face play as a lady in uh, in Returnal as well. It's like a middle-aged woman. Our combat woman. system like, is That's really cool. Fast, you don't play as them very often, built to empower if at all, really. As you explore the ultra, yeah, kinda. I was gonna, I was gonna say that a little bit of Sonic size. vibes from it. I would love to see a Sonic Some game that like you like run around a kind of open area, not open world, but like you know, it'd be cooler to see a Sonic game like that, like Sonic Adventure, but like bigger a little bit, you know. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void. Wretched oh, Shadow of the Colossus up in here. Let's go. Oh, so the whole like the whole world is like basically like a platformer and including the bosses. That's cool. Solar Ash's Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer, the giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and Sonic the Utopia. Uh, no, but I saw it. Together to bring I was something we think it is incredibly cool. unique and more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. Oh, We're yeah. excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Cool. That game looks tight. I'd, I'd probably try it if I got a chance. If you're a fan of scary games, this next one is for you. Oh. When I oh. first found you, you were nothing. You were small. Oh, oh, yeah, this, uh, it, it might be FNAF, right? Yeah, that's, that's the bear. Yep, there it is, Freddy. They 
won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Oh, that footage is kind of choppy looking. Ooh. We have to get you out by morning. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, then you will. Both of you. I didn't really get scary vibes from this. There is more going on here than you realize. Yeah, I'm not... That didn't really feel scary, though. That was a chilling new look at Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> Security Breach. Chilling, like it looks cool, yeah. <laughs> Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Oh, Soulstorm looking tight, though. I've never been a big fan of like Hi, the I'm cinematic Lanning, platforms. Creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. Oh, that just sounds obnoxious. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokins that you must try to save along the way. Oh. But they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra uh -oh. hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. Oh my god! He fucking died! In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic oh, ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power yeah. allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. Interesting. Okay. The odd world I'm not on crafting, is a place, yeah. and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought patience and stealth you'll find dark and dangerous caves heavily guarded industrial sites and ancient forgotten lands here we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things it won't be easy mm. if being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough there are also more dangers in the forms of natural oh! obstacles ancient he traps, got fucking squished dark creatures and industrial hazards that must be dodged, well. crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies, and we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way, and we can't wait to see what you will do. Oh, that's really soon. Okay, cool. Why is it just your eyes moving, you weirdo? Oh, there you go. Now the now the body is moving. That there was the go. latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news: active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost, starting in April. PS5 version for no extra cost, starting in April. Why'd you repeat yourself? I mean, that's awesome. Are. It's free it's if you got PS Plus and Tina PS5. Bridge there you go. Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we last saw on the June now, PS5 showcase. Yeah, this is uh, the game that 
not not necessarily mean that not Zelda game, right? Yo, that's like, tight. I usually timid. I like that it has an actual like art style to it. It's not just like a real. It's not real humans, you know. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrines, but that power. Oh yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, it's like a Disney movie almost. Trapped spirits linger here. Tangled in the tragedies of our past. We must help these spirits to get it to reach the light. Okay. It's okay. You have to go. Yo, the voice acting is like really quiet. Why are you like in the other room recording it? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? What happened to that that person? Of the spirit guide is the lonely one. Yo, give a date. Ah, oh, August. Let's go. The game looks tight. Now let's settle in for a stylish new look at Deathloop, a PS5 first-person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. Call. What? You'll never, ever break this loop. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Bring it, baby. <laughs> this is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Uh, rated T for teen stream. Why are you saying these you? naughty words? But real talk, Bridge of Spirits looks tight. That game looks really tight. Uh, when I originally saw it, I was like, kind of eh, on it. I was like, yeah, it looks neat. But like now that I got, like, got a better look at it, I'm like much more into it. I'll definitely play that game if I, when I if and when I get a PS5. <laughs> Death Loop, unfortunately, is a game that I'm like. Not like a hundred round. I don't. I don't really like. I'm, like, imagine a game that makes you feel nothing. That's that's what this game does for me. Like, cool shooter game, and you're like you're looping back and forth after death and stuff like that. Like, it's cool. Oh, I 
guess the stream just stopped for a second on my end. What was that? I love how I'm like, I'm like, oh, this game doesn't make me feel anything, and then they're just like, <laughs> just snap a dude's neck, and I'm like, whoa! Where you been the gameplay does look, you know, it looks like the, the gun combat, you know, looks fun, and it's made by the people who made, uh, what is it, Dishonored, right? Like, and I hear those are, like, fun. But I never played those, so like I have no reference for like how good they may or may not be. Granted, how good a game is is, sub is still Song's subjective, people, right? And so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. Yo, he, he, he can't keep saying that. He's free T for T. Not to be petty, but like I'm I'm surprised they're still advertising that. Before we leave, how about? A huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games. Is it what I think it is? Yup, there it is. There it is. Claude, quickly! Barrett! Give me a break! Jesse! Barrett! Where you been? Tifa! Uh, uh, help me! Come on! Let's push it past the red line! Now it's my turn! Is that... Is that who I think it is? It's her! It's Yuffie! Let's go! Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche, we got this! I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? So, it's like... No, better it's not. It's like a side After story? You gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? <laughs> Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. <sighs> Why do they have her in the hoodie the whole time? I mean, I get, I get she's like trying to be all sneaky and stuff, but like... <laughs> yeah, Barrett's always had that kind of voice though. Or I mean, when they could give him a voice. I'm assuming this is Ever Crisis? Or like something? Boss. Oh, she got rid of the hoodie. Probably get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah. Oh, you've never played do. Seven or a remake? Not your um. Sister. Yeah. I mean, there you are. I I don't really have an interest in Seven because it changes way too much for me personally. But integr integrate? No. Let the hunt begin. Okay, whatever this is. <laughs> Get down here, Bert. Bert. But uh, I do recommend the original if you have any interest in it. And I'm assuming this is the next gen. Yeah, there we go. Graphics on play. <laughs> Graphics on PlayStation 5. <laughs> Out of context, that sounds really funny. I mean, yeah, it looks... It looks nice, still. I mean, it looks... Okay, there we go. Now, the improved textures are where it's at. Yeah, that that looks way nicer. Wait. Yeah, yeah.
yeah, the lighting's way better too. You guys like fog? Yeah, the lighting's better, the textures are better. I mean, it's already a stunning looking game, you know? Can't, I can't take that away from it. I'm not a fan of the remake and what they did to it, except the visuals. The visuals are fucking, let's go. Quality of life. Performance, okay. Wait, normal classic? What is that? What is normal classic? Yo, load times are fucking... Oh, a photo mode, let's go. Episode featuring Yuffie, what? which was Yuffie you didn't meet until far after Midgar, so, well, not far, but you, you don't meet, she never goes to Midgar in the original. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> That's how ninjas do it. Yep. Intergrade. Intergrade? Yeah, intergrade. You own it, it goes for, oh, and the save data. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Yuffie you have to buy, but yeah, you know, that makes sense. You get the upgrade for free is clean as hell. Let's go, that's hype. That was the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade coming to the PS5 console later oh, this year. Uh, downloaded seven on Switch and have uh, and that's our show. 10 and 10 too, you have to play we are for what's to come in 2021. All three of those are See you next time. I still never beat uh, Ten Two though, but hey, you know what? That was like a solid like lineup of games. I'm not interested in all of them. I like Binge of Spirits. That looks tight, right? But you know, overall, that was like a good presentation. I'm down. I'm down. PS Five looks great.